Hi guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Channel. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Secret is out. 48 hours after revealing a Mephiles 593 banks account, EFCC exposes Buhari's minister. So guys, let's quickly hear and see what happened. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has made significant revelations regarding alleged financial malpractice within the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs during the tenure of former Minister Sadia Uma Farouk. This report comes shortly after the former Central Bank of Nigerian CBN Governor Godwin Emefele illegally lost billions of cash in about 593 banks accounts in foreign countries, which included the United States, United Kingdom, and China. Oh, guys, I pity Nigerians. Look at the way criminals, politicians are looting Nigerian money and taking them abroad. An investigation uncovered the diversion of a substantial sum totaling 37.2 billion naira from the federal government funds. This amount was dispersed across 38 different bank accounts in five established commercial banks linked to a contractor named James Okwete. Okwete, allegedly the recipient of this fund, purportedly engaged in various transactions. Among these were the transfer of 6.7 billion naira to Biru the change operators and other irregular transfer transaction for procurement of high end vehicle and acquisition of luxury properties in Abuja and other parts of this country. It was further disclosed that Okwete had aff affiliations with a network of 53 companies utilizing 47 of these entities to secure government contracts. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs under Uma Farouk leadership oversees multiple agencies, including the National Social Investment Office, the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals, and the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants, and Internationally Displaced Persons. Huma Farouk, who had a history of collaborations with President Mohamed Buhari since his days as the Congress for Progress Change leader, held the position of Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management, and Social Development since her appointment in July 2019. Moreover, Previous findings by the independent corrupt practice and other related offenses 
Commission in 2020 highlighted misappropriations within the ministry's school findings program during the COVID-19 lockdown, an amount totaling 2.67 billion naira meant for this initiative was uncovered in private bank accounts, indicating irregularities in the allocation of funds to federal colleges. These revelations underscored the gravity of the financial irregularities associated with the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs pointing towards a broader investigation into mismanagement and potential corruption within the government's funding allocation and contractual processes. So guys, if I may ask, what is Amy Philly and other criminal politicians want to do with this huge amount of billions of naira that has been stolen from the government treasury and taken to abroad? What did they really need this money for? When Nigerians are passing through here, when Nigerian youth, Nigerians are wallowing in poverty. So guys, kindly share your thought on the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.